The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife, and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there, whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lady of Sorrows teaches us how to live our Christian life. We ask her to give us a great desire to do anything that God asks of us, as she did. At the Annunciation, she was totally open to what God wanted of her. And throughout her life, she accepted the will of God. In many different ways, she had a very rough ride during her life. Simeon had prophesied that her heart would be pierced many times. But she accepted all this suffering in total conformity to the will of God. And she also shows us, which we fall down on so often, consistency. That she kept looking ahead of her and responding to God consistently throughout her whole life. And finally, because she was consistent, she was able and was given the strength to stand and withstand the final test of seeing her son crucified and dying in a horrible, tortuous, way. Many paintings show Our Lady fainting and being held by the Holy Women or St. John. But I'm sure that's not a true picture of what the real situation was. She stood as the painting, as the mosaic behind us shows her standing, standing in the will of God knowing that all would be made well. So let us look to Mary and imitate her in these four ways. Let us desire to do God's will. Let us accept God's will. Let us ask for the grace of consistency so that we too will withstand in the hour of trial. <laughs> 